Hello, in this video we're going to look at total revenue and marginal revenue. So some basics. Total revenue is the price of the firm's product times the quantity of the product sold. In shorthand notation, TR is total revenue and that equals P, the price of the product, times Q, the quantity sold. Marginal revenue would be the change in total revenue from selling one more unit of the good or the product. So what happens to our total revenue if we sell one more unit? Does it go up by $2, $3, $10? That's what we're trying to figure out with marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is nothing more than the slope of total revenue, change in total revenue divided by change in quantity. In calculus, slope is nothing more than the derivative, in this case the derivative of the total revenue function. And writing that in calculus notation, marginal revenue is the derivative of total revenue with respect to the quantity. So let's do some examples. Example 1, we have a firm's inverse demand curve given by price equals 600 minus 2Q. To derive total revenue, we again write our basic expression, total revenue equals price times quantity. What is price? So we're going to do a substitution. Price is given to us as 600 minus 2Q, plugging that 600 minus 2Q in for P, and then doing a little bit of simplification, 600 times Q, and then minus 2Q times Q gives us this last step. So total revenue is given by this equation, 600Q minus 2Q squared. Taking the derivative of that gives us marginal revenue, so following our rules of differentiation, the derivative of 600q is 600. The derivative of minus 2q squared is bring down the 2 in front, so we're going to get minus 4. And then 2 subtracting 1 from that leaves us q raised to the power of 1. So marginal revenue is just 600 minus 4q. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, note with a linear demand function, such as p equals a minus bq, marginal revenue will be an equation that will have a slope that is twice as steep. So 600 minus 2Q, using this shorthand idea here, uh, marginal revenue will be 600 minus 2 times the slope here, or minus 4Q. So just something to keep in mind to double check your work. Let's do another example. Example two, we have another firm's inverse demand curve, price equals 88 minus 0.25Q. Deriving total revenue, doing our substitution in for the price, we have this. Multiplying through by Q, total revenue equals 88Q minus 0.25Q squared. Taking the derivative gives us marginal revenue of 88 minus 0.5Q. So once again, 2 times minus 0.25 is minus 0.5q. And once again, you can see that relationship between the price equation and the marginal revenue equation. Marginal revenue looks just like the price equation, except that it has a slope that is twice as steep. Moving on. Uh, example 3, here we've got to be a little careful. Uh, the firm's demand curve is q equals 40 minus 0. Uh, 0 0.1p. We need to first solve this for price uh, before we go to our total revenue. So solving this demand curve for price, um, moving 0.1p to the other side, dividing through by 0.1, we get the firm's inverse demand. And from the inverse demand, price equals something equation, we can derive total revenue by once again doing our substitution. Okay, so our substitution is down here, doing some simplification, and then taking a derivative. Marginal revenue is 400 minus 20Q, which looks a lot like the price equation with a slope that is twice as steep. Uh, let's do another example. Uh, example four, uh, kind of the simplest example. Here we have a perfectly competitive market. The equilibrium price is $15. Let, let's find the firm's marginal revenue uh, equation. So total revenue equals price times quantity. In perfect competition, firms are price takers. They take the equilibrium price as a given, so plugging this $15 in for uh, P. Um, for whatever reason, I plugged in a 5. Okay, uh, let me 
Oops. Let me fix that quickly. There we go. There we go. And so, oops, follow me. So there we go. So uh, P is 15. Marginal revenue is the derivative of total revenue. Um, here we get 15. Marginal revenue is constant and perfect competition. Every time you sell one more unit, in this example, total revenue goes up by $15. Uh, and as we know, marginal revenue will equal price and perfect competition. And that is the end. I hope you found this video helpful.